we wake up because I think that we want a class that gets our brain and our body going, there's so much I want to do this week and I've got the power and energy to do it. Yes. Yeah. Okay, let's get started then. Okay, we're going to do it. We're going to do it, Karen. Yes, we are. We're going to do it. Right. right. Finish this right. feeling. Almighty. Okay, yes. <laughs> first things first, let's come into your mobility. So you're going to come into that four-point kneeling position. Hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips. And you extend your right leg. So take a deep breath in, reach under your left arm, and then exhale, reach up to the sky, opening up the chest, feeling a little bit of a stretch of the inner thighs. Inhale, reach under that left arm again. And exhale, big reach up to the sky. Two more times on this side. Big reach, one more time. And it feels really good to have a big stretch. Place that hand down, like bring that knee back in, and let's do the same on the other side. Extend your left leg. Take a deep breath in, reach your right arm under, sorry, reach your left arm under your right arm. Exhale, reach up, open the chest. Inhale, reach under. And here you're mobilizing that thoracic spine, those the sort of um, mid to the base of the neck, that part of the spine. Really good to get that moving. You've got one more. Good. And then place that left hand back down. Bring your left knee back in and come into your cat dog stretch. So you're flexing. Fill the space between the shoulder blades. Spread out and then you push your chest towards the ground. Lift the head a little bit. Elongate the neck by drawing the shoulders down. And then you flex again on that in-breath. And exhale. Push the chest towards the ground. One more time, you're going to flex, and then you're going to extend, bring those shoulders down. Okay, we're to make sure that your fingertips are spread out, pushed into the ground. You lift that up the mid back, extend one leg out, put the toes down, then the other leg so you're in a high plank position. Good, bring your left foot to the outside of your left hand. We're going to come into that dynamic lizard stretch, so left foot forwards, left arm reaches up. Good, then place the hand down, foot goes back, right foot forwards, right arm reaches. And if you're feeling a little tight, you're going to feel this around the hips, maybe the front of the hip, wherever you're feeling that you've got those sort of tight spots. I had really much, when I did this a few months ago, yeah. I literally had to bring my foot up, just so you know how quickly I put that up. Because yes, I was going yeah. to do this, and then I have to bring it up. So if you have yeah. to do that still, do not worry. It's amazing how just doing a few months of this. Absolutely. You suddenly get more flexibility. You really do. And you get quicker out of your muscle. You know, it, it, as you know, every day or as you get older, your muscle, the fascia, which is like the netting that encases your muscles, gets tighter and more dehydrated. So you really have to work at loosening it up and keeping it nourished and, and um, hydrated by moving the body. You've got one more, and then I want you to hold the high plank. You're just going to hold it, lift that up and lift back, engage the glutes. If you need to make it easy, you bring your feet further apart. You're here for another five. Holding for three, two, one. Bring those feet together. Walk your hands towards your feet, keeping your legs as straight as possible. Then you can slowly roll up the spine. Take a deep breath in and reach your arms up to the sky. Exhale, clasp your hands together. You're going to lean over to your right. Have a big stretch. Roll all the way around. Lean over to your left, putting on that right hand. Good, and then roll back down, shake it all out, and then we'll get started with some, with, a, with some squats just to continue firing up the legs, firing up the glutes, and getting the shoulders mobile. <clears throat> Always have your hands in front of you. You're going to come into a squat, lift your arms, arms come down, and then you stand, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Are so our arms straight or slightly apart? I mean, are our feet straight ahead or slightly in a plie? Your feet, if you, if you struggle with the depth of your squat, turn the toes out slightly 
and you will be able to get deeper into your squat. Okay, so your hands are down, then you lift, come into that wide shape, bring your arms down to the sides of the hips, squeeze the shoulder blades together, squeeze your bum, and then come down, lift the arms. So it's like you're swinging your arms, but it's controlled, so you're firing up your back, and you're mobilizing your shoulders. Try and lift those arms as high as you can, bring them next to your ears when you're in your squat. Drive up through those heels, Really squeeze the glutes when you stand up. Good, try and straighten those arms a little bit more. Going for another three. Two. One more. And stand. Okay. Have you got your books ready? Because we're going to use books again. Yes, yeah, just Yeah, so books, everybody. Books. Either a big hip one book, but like a coffee table book, or yeah. you could go one, for two, two smaller books. Coffee table books. I'm going to grab another book actually. I'm just going to get some water now. Okay, go and grab some water. Everyone, it's your chance to grab your equipment. Grab, grab some water if you need. Grab your stack of books. You want them to be reasonably heavy so that you can get those muscles fired up. And then we'll get going with the first set of exercises. So we're going to do some side lunges, but with a hold and a row. So we get the back firing, the biceps firing, and those legs working. Trini, are you ready? I'm ready. Great. Okay. You're going to come into a semi-squat position. So hips are pushed back. How many seconds are you? Just again, we want quite, you want quite heavy ones for this because you're going to be using your back and your biceps, which are strong muscle groups. Okay, I've got the heavier book. Okay. Oh, okay. Right, that looks like a really good book, Trini. You're going to come into your semi squat position, then you extend one leg, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Doesn't matter which leg, you're going to alternate. So you, but you stay in your squat. You pull those shoulders back, lengthen the leg, good, and it's just like a little tap to the side. So you're not shifting your body weight over. That leg just extends out. Pull those weights. You're going to be getting in a little bit of work for that lower back as well, as those mid back muscles and your biceps. Really strong pull, and because this is a multi-joint exercise, or compound exercise as we call it in the fitness biz. You're going to get your heart rate up a little bit because you're using lots of muscles at the same time. That's it, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Good, here for 30 more seconds. We're going to breathe, squeezing the shoulder blades together. Perfect, and this is waking up that whole body, getting you ready for the next exercise. And even if that, but even if your weights are quite light, the amount of repetitions that you're doing should be enough to fatigue your muscles. How much the, um, I just wonder, should my shoulders be in this position? Yes, so you're pulling them back as if you're stretching out your chest. You've got another two, one more, and then stop. You can put those books down for a second. Come over to your mat. You're going to have your hands down um, underneath the shoulders, legs out straight, and you're going to come into alternating knee lifts. So you're going to bring your left knee to your left elbow, then put it back. Right knee to out, right elbow, place your foot back. So you're alternating from side to side, getting a bit of a hip opening, challenging those obliques as well, the side of the stomach. So you bring the knee. You want to keep the foot lifted. So let me bring my camera down. You're going to keep your foot lifted as you bring the knee up towards your elbow. That's it, perfect, your knee. So the knee comes up to the elbow, you lift, place it back, lift, place it back. Really squeezing the stomach. And because you come into essentially a tripod position, so you're balancing on three points, it really works the upper body. 
as well as raise the heart rate a little bit. So you're opening up the hip, bringing the knee to the elbow. You're here for another 10 seconds. Good, perfect. Going for two, one, place that foot back. You're going to walk your hands towards your feet. Roll up, have a really big stretch. So you're standing up, have a really big stretch. Bring those arms down for a second. And then I want you to place your back against a wall to come into a ski squat. So your back is against a wall. You want to have a 90 degree angle. Uh, you, can, you can use the window, I think, Trini. What? But you can use your, you can put your back against the door, the glass door, I think. Yeah, I am, yeah. Okay, great. And then, from here, you can work on your shoulder mobility. You lift one arm, and then the other arm. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. And we're doing, you know, pretty low impact exercises. Um, so it should be safe for your knees, or if you've got any back problems, obviously make sure you're cleared by your doctor or your physiotherapist. I'm always sliding. Oh, okay. Um, how about bringing your back against the wall that's next to the opening of the door? The... So that you know you're facing side on to the camera, so you're back. Do you, have you got a wall there? I'm trying to remember where you normally do it. Yeah. But I'm so just sliding on the floor. Okay, then you can come out of it a little bit, Trini, and just really dig the heels in. So dig you're not at 90, but you're okay. up a little bit. And then, because if you're sliding, you're going to have to work your muscles harder anyway. So I'll let you come out of that 90 degree. Okay, you've got another eight. Good. Going for another four. Three, two, one, and stop. You can stand up, shake off those legs, grab a sip of water if you need. We're going to go into round two of this circuit of three exercises. So round two is going to start, just a little bit of rest, water break, and we'll pick up those books. Well, that massive book. What is that book, Trini? Um, I've changed it because my back started to hurt a bit, Natalie, so I just Oh, okay, it was a bit heavy. Yeah. It was a very heavy book, yeah. Mm. Okay. okay. So in that semi-squat, you extend one leg, arms lengthen, extend the other leg. If your back does hurt it with this one, you can do, um, you can extend, row, stand, come into it, stand between your repetitions so that you're getting a little bit of respite in the back. Otherwise, you're staying low and you're working on stability, squeezing those shoulder blades together, lowering that chest down so you really are working the back because you've got gravity pulling you down and you're trying to pull something against gravity which means that you use your muscles. Just going to check on the time. Good, stay nice and low. Try to keep that leg that is bent really stable. Barely any movement. Good. 15 seconds to go. Keep the elbows tucked into the side of the torso, really squeezing the shoulder blades together. Go for another two. One more, oh. and stop. Right, just shake it off, shake off those legs for a second. We're going to come into your plank variation now, which helps to release the back a little bit, actually, because you're elongating it. Hands down, you're going to lift your left knee to your left elbow, then back, right knee to right elbow, and back. Keep the foot lifted. If, it is, um, if this one is a little uncomfortable for you, or you're still working on your plank, you can hold, you can just hold the plank on your knees or just go into little toe taps instead. Okay, last 10 seconds here. And then you're into that wall squat. Perfect, Trini, going for five, three, two, one, Whoa. and stop. Okay. Come up onto your feet, you've got your wall squat. Oh. Okay. So, 90 degree angle. Or, if 
you are sliding like um, Trini was on the glove stool, just lift yourself out of it a little bit. That way you're going to be um, less, you're less likely to slide, but you're really going to use the muscles anyway. Arms in front of the chest, you lift one arm, then lift the other arm. It's just a little bonus exercise to work on that shoulder mobility. We'll also fire up the shoulder muscles as well, the muscles around your shoulder girdle. Okay. You're doing this for 60 seconds in total. If you need to rest within that time, then take the rest. Every time you do this, you'll be able to do it for that little bit longer, even after the first time. Good. Perfect. How's your, how's your knee with this, Trini? It's okay. I mean, I just have to get out of it gently. But yeah. you putting my heels, the emphasis on my heels, I'm slipping. Okay. I think your floor is a little bit uh, slippery anyway, so because you yeah. always struggles with this one. It means that you have to work extra hard. So you've got another five, four, three, two, one, and stop. Shake off those legs. Those legs should be feeling... Feel it. Are you feeling it, ladies? I'm so feeling it! Yes, muscles are getting nice and hot. Okay. Right, we're going to bring a bit of cardio into your next round of exercises. Grab a sip of water if you need. Um, otherwise, we're going to go straight into your next round. So you've got, let's have a 10 second water, water break. Okay, are you ready? Round two. You're going to squat, um, fist by your shoulders, then stand, rotate, punch across the body. Squat, punch, squat, punch. So we begin to raise the heart rate. You're using your shoulders, you're using your back, believe it or not. And getting those legs working, as well as raising that heart rate. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. So you squat on the in-breath, punch on the out-breath. Get that rotation through the body. And you're tapping the feet. You can see me squat, rotate, and tap the foot. If you can go a little faster, then let's go for it, otherwise just go slowly, work at your pace. You will get better, that is the magic of movement. You always get better at it. Good, squat, punch, squat, punch. Punch right across the body, Trini. Right across, rotate the body, that's it. You've got another 20 seconds. Let's do this together. Squat, punch, squat, punch. Shoulders are back. Knocks of energy. Deep breath in. You lower. Exhale. You punch. Get that stomach working as well. Going for three, two, one. Stop. Shake it up. Shake it up. Okay. Into your second plank exercise. You're going to have your hands down onto your shoulders. And so let's start off on your knees for this one, actually, because this one's quite a difficult one. So you're going to start off on your knees, you come onto your forearms, and then back up onto your hands. So halfway through, I'm going to tell you to lower on the opposite front. So if you're starting off by putting your right forearm on the, down, on the ground, and then bring your right hand up on the ground to push yourself up, then you're going to do it um, the other way, halfway through. Okay, so you're doing this for 30 seconds, the other one, the other variation is in a full plank, which Trini oh. has been doing. And I'm so proud of you. Because this is such a hard plank. Okay, go switch and come up on the other arm now. If you need to put those knees down to modify, then absolutely go for it. But I do encourage that you push yourself out of your comfort zone, because that's really how you improve your strength. As long as you're not being in pain, bad pain. You've got two more, okay? Last two. One more. And rest. Oh, my God. Fantastic. Trini, how do you feel? You should feel so proud of yourself. I can't believe you just did that. I do feel proud. I do feel proud. Good. Yes. Honestly, I was really... I have to say, I am so impressed that you just did that. <laughs> because just a few months ago, you were not doing push-ups. There's no way you could have done that thing. I know, I wasn't. I wasn't okay, really. right. Little rest, and we're going to go back to that first exercise where you punch across the body. 
Okay. Are you ready? In three, two, one. You're going to squat, rotate, and punch. Squat, punch, squat, punch. If you want this to be more cardiovascular, you just go a little bit faster. It's low impact, but you're working more than one muscle group. That's all you raise your heart rate. Work on the shoulders, the back. Good. Sit and tap on the foot out, you swivel. So you want your feet to be in a lateral rotation of the squat, just like your knees. That's it. Bottom punch, you're here for another 20 seconds, and then you're back into that commando plank. Inhale and exhale, always come back to the breath, especially if it starts to feel difficult. Just focus on your in-breath and your out-breath. Out breath on the effort. Going for three, two, one, and stop. Come to your mat. You've got your commando plank. So start off on your hands, either in a high plank or a modified plank with your knees down, but your hips are tucked in. So we don't want to see butts in the air here. Hips are tucked in. And you come down onto your forearms, come back up onto your hands. Just 30 seconds. Let's go. So 15 seconds, lowering on one side and lifting on one side, 15 seconds on the opposite side. Really fantastic form, Trini. Engage your butt so you're really squeezing your gluteal muscles to help keep your lower back stable. And you're going to switch arms now so you lower on the opposite arm. Oh, good. You can do this. You can do this. You just said you've got five seconds only. You've got three, two, one and stop. Oh, oh my yes. god. That is the most exhausting thing ever fucking ever. It's so exhausting. But this is sculpting those arms. Okay. Okay, have a little rest. We're going to go into one more round of this one. We are going to do three rounds of this one. So have some water, take some recovery for a second. And then, you are on to round three. Let me just, uh, All right, I'm ready. Okay. I'm ready. Are you ready? Let's do it. Okay, you're gonna squat, rotate, punch. Keep the shoulders back, keep the neck nice and long. Actively try and create that really good posture as you do this. If you want more of an arm workout, you punch really hard, then recoil the arm, engage your back muscles. Trini, you used to do boxing, didn't you? Yeah. Years ago, like 20 years ago. Yeah. I've probably done most exercises, Natalie. Pardon? I've done most exercises, apart from yes. I didn't do Thai boxing. Thai boxing, okay, that's particularly difficult. Good cardio. No, I you didn't got... do Thai boxing. You didn't do Thai boxing? No, I did proper boxing. Oh, okay. Boxing is fun though, especially if you're having a bad day. <laughs> yeah, that's very true. You've got five seconds, okay, let's go. Three, two, one, stop. Last time doing your prank up down. Oh, God. I know, I know. But you're going to be so strong after this. We're going to be strong, ladies. Strength. That's what we want. From the inner side out, out. elevate. Strong, let's do this. Fire the boss. Begin a new life. Tap <laughs> out what you want that thing to be if you want strength for it. Yeah. Oh. That's that's a good idea. What do you want to be strong for? You always have to be working towards a goal. I want to be strong for my daughter. I want to be strong for me. I want to be strong for my team. Oh. Yes. Oh. 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 Shout it out. Yes. Right, switch sides. You have to come up on the other oh. arm, lower on the other arm. Let's go, you've just got 10 seconds now. Everyone at home, you can do this. It's a tough exercise. Oh. Get it together, engage those glutes. You've got two, one, and stop. 
Right, have a sip of water. We're going to come into another round of exercise after that. We're going to have a slightly longer break this time. Just let um, yourself recover so your muscles are nice and fresh for the next round of exercises. Just get my breath back, actually. Yes. So, so yeah, that's why you've got a slightly longer recovery. Have, have a drink of water, stay hydrated. So you're nice and fresh for the next set of exercises. Yep. Okay. Right. Next one, we're going to be doing a little bit of mat work. So we're taking the intensity down a little bit. Three different exercises. You've got an abdominal exercise, a glute exercise, and then an arm exercise. So you're lying on your mat, hands behind your head. We start off Pilates style, we just tuck your hips in, gently push the bell back onto the ground, draw the navel down towards the spine. One is to try and bring your legs into a tabletop. Now lift your chest, elbows stay wide. You want to cycle those legs, but in a Pilates cycle. So at one, so at one point, both legs are going to be straight. So if you're riding the bike very elegantly, upside down. <laughs> So you're really working on flexibility, you're working on control through the pelvis. And you should feel the quadriceps firing up as well. Point the toes, make you look as beautiful as possible. Good, keep the chest lifted for this one Trini, as yeah. high as you can. That's it, excellent. You're here for another 15 seconds, because this one really works the hip flexors. We're going to go into a glute bridge after this which helps to switch off those hip flexors as well as activate the back of the leg, of course. You've got five, four, three, two, one, and stop. Okay, are you ready for the glute bridge? This is going to feel like a nice release. Heels down, toes turned up to the sky. And you want to have your feet hip distance, so they're not completely together, but they're not really, and hip distance is actually in line with the center of each of your butt cheeks, not really wide, it's actually quite narrow. I want you to tuck your hips in, peel your spine off the mat, really squeeze the backs of the legs, squeeze those hamstrings, and then you roll down, vertebra by vertebra, and again you tuck in and lift up. So you're activating the lower abdominals to initiate the movement, and then you're lowering that back, back down. You lift, get the sensation of dragging the heels towards your uh, hips, and then you'll get a little more muscle activation. You've got two more like this, and then we're going to make it just a little bit more intense. Good, one more, you're going to lift and hold. Bring your right knee towards your chest, place the foot back down, then bring your left knee towards the chest. We're going to come into marching. Hips are really tucked in, you're keeping your hips as still as possible, so as you lift one leg, you're not letting the hips dip, you're using the side of the stomach. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift. You're here for another 15 seconds. So you're, you're putting all of your body weight onto one side and then onto the other side. So you're, again, uh, you're creating more strength because it's harder. You've got three, two, lift those hips a little higher if you can. Last one. And roll down, give those knees a little hug, rock from side to side. Now we're going to come into that triceps exercise that we did a few weeks ago, where you have your bottom leg straight, your right leg, your, so your top leg, your bottom leg bent, your top leg straight, and you can either hold your waistline or just keep the hand down on the ground. Your hand is in line pretty much with your shoulders, your fingertips are pointing up towards you know, the centre of your head, coming out of the centre of the head, the crown of the head. And you're going to lower and then push. Lower, push. So it's a tricep dip or a single arm push-up. You lower. Sorry, I don't know what you're pushing. I can't see what you're doing. Okay, so you're lying on your left side. Your yep. left leg is bent on the ground. Your right leg is straight, just in front of your um, left leg. Your right hand is on the ground. Your left hand is wrapped around your waist. You're going to bend and extend 
your right arm. This is going to cause the movement of you lowering your left shoulder to the ground and then pushing your upper body away from the ground. So, so I extend, it's extend my right arm. And then, so your right, your right arm extends like and this. then bends. But then bring that arm, bring your left arm around your waist. That's it. And then push yourself up, straighten the arm. There we go, and then come back down. Okay, got You've it. You've got 10 of these. And it's really tough, it really isolates the back of the arm, those triceps. Inhale, lower, exhale, push, all the way up. And you're also using the obliques here. Good. Going for another five. Push, perfect. Going for four. That's it, shoulders back. And if you need to modify this one, you can just place the other arm and lay it down on the ground next to you so you've got a bit of support. Last two. One more. Perfect, Trini. And then you're going to do the same on the other side. Did you feel that in those triceps? Yeah. Can I just ask you, Natalie, is the foot, the, the leg that's on the floor, is it lying? straight. Are they going no. straight and then bent? You can have it slightly forwards of the body to give yourself okay. a bit more stability. Okay. And same with the top leg. If you just play around a bit, it doesn't really matter what your lower body's doing. It's okay, as long as you're that you're working okay. body. So let's go. This time right hand wrapped, you're going to lower and push. Good. Just 10 repetitions. It's quite a tough one. If you want to make it more intense, you don't lower yourself all the way down. You hover just above the ground and then extend. So your muscles are always working. Good, inhale, lower. Exhale, push. Good, perfect. Going for four. Nice, go for three. Two. And last one. Then, you're lying back on your back again, you've got the ab exercise. Okay, so legs in tabletop, hands behind your head, elbows nice and wide. You're going to lift your chest and come into your bicycle nice and slow. You're going to bend one knee and then start to extend the leg up to the sky. So your legs, at one, at one point in time, are completely straight at the same time. So you're really imagining you're cycling a bike. You're lifting your chest. Pointing or pointing toes? Pointing the toes. We want good toes with this one, not naughty toes. That's what I remember from my ballet, good toes, naughty toes. So you really want to point those toes, good. Perfect. Lift the chest a little higher, really create the uh, tension in those abdominals, the rectus abdominis, those six pack muscles. You're here for another 10 seconds and then you've got those glute bridges with the marches. Um, if your hip flexor clicks in this, someone's just asked that, if your hip flexor just means you've got really tight hip flexor, it's actually a, a ligament snapping over um, a little bit. So you want to just keep the legs a little more bent, that way you're not going to get that clicking sensation, but you're still going to be working the abs. Last one, Trini, and then stop. Okay, heels down on the ground. You can either lift your arms or keep your hands down next to your hips. Hip distance with the feet, you're going to tuck in, lift up into your glute bridge, roll back down. Tuck and lift, really drawing the belly button in, bring the pelvis towards the rib cage, and then roll back down. Squeezing your butt as much as you can. You should feel a lot of um, activation there. Exhale to lift up. Inhale to lower. You've got another three, and then we come into those marches. Two. Lift and hold your next one. Come into your marches. If your arms are up, it's going to be more difficult because you've taken away some of your balance. So you really have to engage the backs of the legs. Try not to let the hips dip and get lazy with it. Really tuck in, lift as high as you can, squeeze as much as you can and control the movement. Go slower if you have to. That's it, fantastic. You've got another 
six, five, four, three, two, and last one. Place the foot down, you're going to roll down, give the knees a quick hug, rock from side to side. And then coming into that triceps exercise again. I might just make my camera a little lower so you can see this one more clearly. Okay, so lying on your side, so you're going to have your right arm wrapped around your waist, <clears throat> top left straight, bottom leg bend, legs are slightly forward of the body, of the torso. Hand down on the mat, deep breath in, exhale, push, inhale, lower. If you want to work harder, you hover and then push because you're holding the muscles isometrically, which means they don't get to rest. You are just contracting them. If this is still too difficult, just place your right arm down. Take on the fluffy bat wings. Oh, this is working, though. This is getting your those triceps beautifully sculpted. Think, summer dress, sleeve with summer dresses. Do you want to wear them, ladies? Do you want to feel good? Everyone can wear them, but do you just want to feel that you love your arm in them? Ladies and gentlemen, because my stepdad is... And like gentlemen, <laughs> you want to have that sleeveless man power t-shirt. That's right. Muscle tea. <laughs> Two more. And last one. Strong push. Good. You're going to switch and do the same on the other side. Yes, the boys. Awesome. Okay. Are you ready? This one is really hard. It looks like it's just some sort of easy exercise, but it's really challenging. Okay, deep breath in, yeah. lower. And then push yourself up. Squeeze those triceps. Get that arm nice and straight. Good. Perfect, going for another six. Lifting all the way. Remember, if you want to rest, you can place the shoulder down and then push all the way up. It's a tough one today, people are saying. Yes, it is. We're starting the week strong, energy. We're improving our strength. You've got one more. And stop. Okay. Oh. Right. You can lie on your back for a second. I want you to have a really big stretch, reaching those arms above your head, reaching your legs long. Lots of people are saying they can hardly lift their body with that one. If that's the case, put, your, put the bottom arm down on the ground with the palm turned up, and that's going to give you some support. And just do a few reps at a time. It doesn't matter how many you do. Doing one is going to make you stronger. Okay. Right, and we're into stretching now, Trinia. I went to break Oh, my Lord. You see, you kept that as a surprise because I thought we were going to go into another set by the second. Where do I get the energy? <laughs> that was a lovely surprise for you. You want to bring your right knee in towards your chest. Such a nice surprise, yeah. And lengthen out your left leg on the ground. Lots of people are sweating this morning. Me too. I was I was My breath is cold shower, shower. Oh, the shower is still not hot, so that cold shower is going to stimulate the body this morning. That cold shower, people pay for these cold therapies, Trini. Really. What? People pay to have these cold therapies. Oh God, like yeah. <laughs> okay, you're going to take hold of the back of that right leg, interlink your fingers, take a deep breath in, bend your knee, and then exhale, extend straight up to the sky, flex the foot, inhale, bend. And exhale, extend. Trini, I'm buying some of your BFF cream because I've run out of makeup. Yeah. It looks, I'm trying to match my colour though. I was thinking. I think you're medium. Medium. You wear a bit of fake tan, Natalie, don't you? I occasionally wear, I haven't got it on at the moment because I've got a suntan from being in the sun. Yeah, I'd say you're medium, darling. Medium, okay. Yes. Right, extend and hold. And I'm getting the Lila lip. As well. I love yeah, that. That's perfect for you. Right, extend and hold. Pull that leg towards you a little bit more. Good. Holding for three, two, and one. Switch sides. 
Rachel is saying, I'm going to love the BFF. I think I will too. <laughs> <laughs> Take a deep breath in, bend the knee, exhale, extend. Let's come into the um, active stretch. Good, bend and extend. Nice, going for another two. Last one, extend and hold. Hold that stretch. Good, go ahead. Pull that leg towards you a little bit more. Holding for another three, two, and one. Okay, I want you to come into your figure four stretch now. Bend your um, right leg. Uh, that's it. Cross your sorry, and cross your left ankle over your right knee. That's it. Pull your hands through that triangle, and come into that figure four stretch. Is it better with the other leg straight or bent? Um, I prefer to keep my leg bent just because you relax a little bit more. Then, if you are very tight in this stretch, I recommend sitting on a chair and doing it. In fact, I've got a chair right here, so I'll just show you. And Trini, I get you to do this one sometimes. You sit on the chair and cross your ankle. You can lift up the leg a little bit, the bottom leg. Cross your ankle over the knee and then lean forwards. And that, that helps if you are quite tight. Otherwise, sometimes you find that you're straining your neck trying to pull the leg towards you. But I think you've really improved your flexibility with this stretch as well, Trini. Yeah. Although I still love the chair one, to be honest. Yeah. Well, the chair is great and you can do it throughout the day. If you're sat down, if you're working from yeah. home today, just do it a couple of times because it helps to really release the back as well. See, so because you, you want to keep your glute medius and your piriformis strong, but also flexible. So you're leaning forwards, holding for another few seconds. I'm very tight today. I went to run just a couple of kilometers and then I accidentally ran eight kilometers. <laughs> Oh my god, accidentally ran. Only those words to come out of your mouth, then. <laughs> it was such a beautiful day, though. Yeah. And I just, been, I was just loving life. <laughs> and uncross that leg. You're going to, actually, let's come into your rotation. So you're going to cross that, sorry, cross your legs over completely, as if you're sat in a chair like this, arms in a cactus position and lower your legs to the left. So your right leg is over your left leg. You're going to lower your legs to the left and look to the right. So that's it. Palms turned up to the sky. Nice deep breath. And you can take hold of that top knee just to push down a little more to encourage a deeper stretch. Come back to the center. Cross your left leg over your right leg. Bring that left arm out into that sort of catch position and then Lower your legs to the right as you look to the left. And actually, I've just discovered something doing this. You can do this sat on a chair. This feels amazing. This is another what? one to add to your... Oh, really? Your, your work from home routine. Yeah, it feels really good. Pushing your arm back and pushing your legs over and getting a really nice That's stretch. Great. Okay, come back to the centre. You're going to just give the knees a quick hug, a gentle rock from side to side to sort of massage the muscles around the spine. And then I want you to turn onto your side. You're going to, and then push yourself up to turn over to come into your cat dog stretch. So you're flexing and extending your spine. Remembering not to push the butt back too far because you're going to compress the lower vertebra. So it's more about pushing your chest down and lifting it up towards the sky. Come to your neutral position. Let's stretch out those hip flexors. You're going to have your right foot forwards and your left knee on the ground. If you need to roll up your mat and put a cushion under your knee, then absolutely go for it. Hips tucked in, engage that glute. So you are, and that's it. And you're going to reach that arm up to the sky. Take a deep breath in. And exhale, lean to the right. So I've got my left knee on the ground and my right foot forwards. And you can take hold of your wrist, of the arm that's in the air, and just gently pull to deepen the stretch with your other arm, with your other hand. 
Come back to the center. Let's do the same stretch on the other side. Hips tucked in. Glutes engaged of the knee that's on the ground. You're gonna reach that right arm up. If your left foot is forward, your right arm is in the air. Then you can take hold of your right wrist with your left hand and very gently pull into a deeper stretch. Come back to the center. Frame that left foot, frame the front foot, and take a step forward with your right foot. Feet are hip distance, you're going to hang for a couple of seconds. Roll those shoulders back, allow your head to go completely heavy. You want to get that sort of decompression of the spine, the neck, great gravity lengthening you out. Stop in the center, take hold of the back of your head, Bring your chin to your chest and very, very gently you're going to pull the back of the head just to create more, elong more elongation through that neck. And if you're very tight, you might even feel this as quite a hot, almost neural sensation. Then let those arms hang long. You're going to lift your arms a little bit so your, um, your biceps next to your ears. Take put your left wrist in your right hand and pull your hand over to the right. And then let's switch and do the same on the other side. Come back to the center, roll those shoulders back one more time, soften the knees, take a deep breath in. Exhale, very slowly stack up for four, three, two, and one. You're gonna roll those shoulders back a couple of times, set them down, think about that lovely posture. You've worked really hard today. You've got Monday off with a bang. Oh my God, Natalie, that was, I just didn't think halfway through that I would get through. But we got through, we did it. That's what's so fantastic, you know.